bicycle mechanics is great. If you know the state of a system, say the position and velocity of a particle, then you can use an equation, Newton's second law, to calculate what that particle will do in the future. In quantum mechanics, if you know the quantum state of a particle, that is, its wave function, you can use the Schrodinger equation to calculate what that particle will do in the future. Usually, it spreads out over time as it is doing here. Note, to make this animation, we really solved the Schrodinger equation. So there's a beautiful symmetry here. If you know the initial state, you can use an equation to evolve that state smoothly and continuously into the future. The problem is, in quantum mechanics, we never actually observe the wave function like this. Instead, when we measure it, we find the particle at a single point in space. So how are we to reconcile the spread-out wave function evolving smoothly under the Schrodinger equation with this point-like particle?